this morning we had Bonner and De Silva resuming and they played a number of back foot shots very early. Less space from the seamer. Ordinary length from the spinners. Just allowed both in Krumah Bonner and Joshua De Silva to play the ball, get it to the boundary till the time. Mary Hansen got introduced. Always looked a bowler who could pick a wicket and created a false shot from Nkrumah Bona, who got dismissed at 90. But Joshua De Silva, the way he's motored along, the way he's looked so very good, moved on to collect his half century and now batting at 70, not out. Zari Joseph, apart from just the, the one scare, I thought played a really good hand, picking his moments as to when he would attack. And when he did, he did so with yes. summer plum. Augus well for the West Indies, but the silver is shining brightly here again. Partnership of 59 on Broken at lunch by these two very young men. 102 in that session for the loss of one players will have lunch we will do so as well and we'll be back here with more live action in Dhaka in just over half an hour from now and let's have a look at the, the second session uh, they managed to score 84 runs but what was good once again to see Bangladesh picking up four wickets in that session some really clean hitting from uh, Alzari Joseph to pick up his 50 and he kept going in that direction the moment he picked up the length especially of an off spinner some lovely shots down the ground over the top of the infield da silva also kept on uh, picking up runs uh, through that through that point area and then he missed a straighter one he tested him with a few uh, bounces but eventually in the end picked up uh, joseph and then also came back to pick up another wicket of uh, Jumeir Warikan. A couple of blows uh, from uh, Shannon Gabriel before he decided to clear that infield, only looping it up straight to Mushfiqur Rahim. So in the end, they managed to pick up four or nine. There you go. Second session, 84 runs and four wickets. The wicket column looking much better. Yeah. It's a time for the break and we'll be back shortly. Came out after the completion of the West Indian wicket. Choma Shaka, oh, lazy shot. Just giving, catching practice. Short mid wicket. There's some uh, attacking strokes by Tamim Mikbal. He made his intention quite clear. <laughs> Playing away for the second time away from his body. He hit a hitter four earlier. Lucky on that occasion. Just uh, going over the head of the slipper. Some deft touches from Mominol, uppercutting them. He looked to be quite comfortable riding the bounces pretty well. Short pitch deliveries were used by him uh, in the air, in that area eventually where Tamim Iqbal went. Just closes the bat uh, on the onside, tucking them in, using the pace of the ball. Momino just got one to rise up. He's got at his crease, not going forward. And immediately after, trying to whip one away at that stationary mid-wicket, short mid-wicket position was the fielder. And uh, the two men saved the blushes, as I said. Continued with some strokes, and that was it for the day's play. Unbeaten, Mahmoud Mithun and Mushfiq Rahim. The bowlers will be pretty happy, particularly Shannon Gabriel, who's been used sparingly with a lot of different spells. A couple of wickets for him, one wicket each for Cornwall and Alzari Joseph. So that's uh, how it stands at the moment at the end of the second day's play in this second test match of the Bonga Bundu Test Series. 409 posted by the West Indies. Bangladesh repost was uh, tottering at first, but then a little bit of a recovery, still trailing by 304 runs.